according to Woj, Russell Westbrook welcomes the idea of a trade from the only franchise he's ever known after they sent Paul George to the Clippers over the weekend. Welcomes. That word was chosen very carefully because welcomes suggest that there's a level of cooperation between Westbrook and the Thunder on this. But it stops short of saying that he's demanded a trade or even asked for one. Now, Welcomes makes it clear that we probably are at the point of no return in what was very recently a great relationship between an MVP player and his adoring small market franchise. Both sides would prefer a trade to happen, in Woj's words, sooner rather than later. And Westbrook is hoping to play for a contending team at this point in his career. Tim, how in the heck did we get here? And is there any turning back? Well, the, there's no turning back after this from Dame. I mean, let, uh -huh. let's be honest. You get there because you go all in with Paul George and Rush. You're paying a massive luxury tax bill, and you get bounced from the first round the last couple of years. You haven't sniffed the second round of the playoffs, you know, since KD's departure. And I think it's still a very good relationship between Russ and the franchise, but all good things come to an end. They're not going to be contending. They're in a rebuilding period, and that means they need to move on from Russ. That sounds like Sam Presti. Mm. Anything Sam Preston mm. says is very, <laughs> let me think about it. I'm going to come back in 20 minutes with the right word. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, it, I mean, it's going to be easier said than done to unload them because that contract is so massive and so huge. Keep an eye on Miami, obviously. I think we have some Nick Scuttlebutt here. Minnesota. Yeah, um, and, and Minnesota needs to do something. Perhaps the Knicks should do it. They couldn't do it until like mid-December. But knowing Sam... He's not going to rush this. He's going to do what's best for the franchise, and if it means that Russell has to play some games in uncomfortable fashion, and they're always in uncomfortable fashion with Russell, right? So <laughs> if you say demanded a trade or asked for a trade, that just kills their leverage. Yeah. And it also Welcome. severs it also severs the relationship between Russ and the franchise, but more importantly, the city. I mean, this is a city that he embraced, that they embraced him, and if you, if it seems like there's a mutual understanding but I, I here. Heard, I heard that he wanted out and that PG just beat him to the punch. <laughs> and neither one of them knew that the other one was thinking that way. So. Yeah, but, but, but I think the key word here is mutual because Russ doesn't need to demand a trade. The, the Thunder have all the motivation in the world to trade him. They don't want uh, this guy in his prime, near the end of his prime, do 170 plus million over the next four years when they're turning the page and, and trying to collect assets. So it's in everybody's best interest to move him sooner than later if and when they can get some semblance of value. So I'm, I'm just on the other side of this completely. I just don't know why you have to move him now. You, you already moved Paul George and you've accumulated a collection of assets. You have a team that would probably be in the playoffs, even if they if they run that back with Russ. That team before Paul George got there was a playoff team. Uh, look at the Western Conference right about now uh, okay. and reconsider. But this is Russell Westbrook here, and it's going to, that's almost a negative contract, four years, $170 million. Like, you're gonna have to incentivize somebody to take that back, to take all that money back where he's making $47 million in the last year of that contract. You don't want to trade Rus Russell Westbrook at a disadvantage here. You don't I want to trade him where you have to, you might even have to throw in a pick to get somebody like to, to me, take like, him. I know, and you, and you guys mentioned it off the air that the Knicks are trying to save money and maybe that haunts them. Get him. This is a star. This is New York. They need it. They struck out. Go big. Go get uh, Russ. You know bring, what? Him, bring him to Broadway. The, the, the Knicks need to be patient here. They don't need to make a desperation move just to create some buzz. Miami is a team. Yeah, there's a lot Jimmy of buzz Butler. going on across the Brooklyn Bridge right now. And they will not struggle to create revenue at Madison Square Garden. They need to be patient. Miami with Jimmy Butler, the timelines align there. Mm -hmm. They can go all in. Obviously, as Woj reported, that's a place where Russ would welcome uh, being sent to South Beach. That makes the most sense, and I think that they can maybe make a kind of a cap neutral trade where there's not picks going either way. I got something for you. Let's play fantasy real quick. <laughs> Because we know the CP James thing. Whatever. Oh my gosh! Don't even. Oh. Right. The Rockets have interest. But I know. Darryl it has interest but, in every but, story. But what, why there. not? This is just fan, <laughs> this is nothing I've heard. Mm -hmm. What if Russ went to Houston, CP went to Miami, and Dragic came to Thunder on an expiring? It's interesting. Um, Dragic makes about half of what those guys make. So Dragic is at nineteen. Add some other yeah, yeah, add, but, and add, yeah, 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 but I mean, then you get your point guard in Miami that could help get Jimmy in the right place because Chris isn't scared of anybody. Right, right. It, you know, 
That would be interesting. I wouldn't hold your breath for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, I mean, I just, I thought you were going with saying Russ and James Harden back together. Mm. I like it. Mm. Mm. All right, then. <laughs> I, 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 don't know how, get... I don't know how well Russ spaces the floor for Harden's ISO. That didn't work that well the first time. <laughs> James had to be a six man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.